Hi everybody, in this tutorial we're going to go over the wing component and provide an introduction to some of the fundamental controls that we have that shape this geometry. Now we'll click this wing geometry and this is just a default wing that I've added to the workspace and the right hand side is our active section highlighted in green. Now by default we have XZ symmetry turned on for this component and if we look in the plan form tab you can see that this span is calculating the tip to tip distance including the reflected side. So it's just calculating this distance here. If we're adjusting the chord, this is the mean geometric chord of the wing. Now notice that as I'm moving this around, it's adjusting the root and tip chord simultaneously for us. And as I'm moving this, it's readjusting and calculating the area and the aspect ratio on the fly as well. But if we move the area parameter, Notice that span and chord are being adjusted along with it to maintain a constant aspect ratio. And this is under the assumption that if you're changing the area of your wing, you just want to maintain the shape, but you want it to be bigger or smaller. Now, we've demonstrated that you can control the shape of your wing using this plan form tab, but it's a little bit rough and it's usually good practice to use the section tab instead. And the reason for that is because we have access to a greater number of parameters to set the section geometry of the wing, along with things like sweep and twist and dihedral. So on a per section basis, you get finer control using this tab, and then you can use the plan form values to pull out some of the calculated things like total aspect ratio, total span, etc. We also have control over the individual airfoils and the shapes along the wing. So here we have the root highlighted. You can see that that's highlighted in this blue section. And you can change this to a variety of different cross-section types, set the parameters within here, and adjust all of those accordingly. The blending tab gives you access to the tangency strengths along the leading edge and trailing edge of your wing. So if you want to make something like a blended wing body, you can do that. If you want to set up winglets and have a nice smooth continuous curve as those turn upward, you can. And finally, under the Modify tab, we can modify each individual airfoil section a little bit further by shifting it around in its own X and Y. We can scale it, rotate it. We can also adjust the closures at the leading edge and trailing edge. So if you happen to have an airfoil selected that has a sharp trailing edge, but you know either because you want to 3D print something or for manufacturing, it has to have a blunt trailing edge. You can simply come here to the trailing edge component, adjust it, set it to what it needs to be, and then you're set. So that's just a brief overview of some of the fundamental parameters that you have access to under the wing component. A lot of this is gonna be covered in much greater detail in follow-up videos so that you have information about what all of the parameters do and how they interact with each other. But for right now, this sets you up with a good foundation in moving forward.